everyone welcome back to my channel and again welcome back to another vlog so a lot of you guys have been asking me to share my experiences as a nurse here in Finland and so this is it we're going to do a sit down vlog and I'm going to share share with you guys a long story cut short about my experiences as a nurse in this country so for those of you who doesn't know yet I am a registered nurse from the Philippines and now also a registered nurse here in Finland so 2013 i arrived here in finland together with my friends we stayed in lahti i mean we lived in lahti that's where we had our first ever workplace so uh, we came to finland through an agency and if you want to know the name of the agency please watch the video or the vlog i've done before and i'm going to put the video link in my description box and so yes, we are under a private company that caters services to el elderly care. While we are working as assistant nurses, we are also studying um, to become licensed practical nurses. So they have a thing here in Finland that they call Opisopimus. And through that, we were able to study to become licensed practical nurses as the, at the same time while we are working. So the company allowed that. So the study lasted until December 2014, so it took us one and a half years to become licensed practical nurses. In January 2015, we, were, we started working as licensed practical nurses. And then I remember, it was I think mid of, of the year 2015 or almost end of that year that I was transferred to another workplace. It's still... Un, it's still under the same company still in the same city but the workplace is just totally different and so there i kept on working as a licensed practical nurse until 2016 when i finally decided that i want to pursue my nursing career so i wanted to become a registered nurse again i wanted to become a registered nurse here in finland in september of 2016 i finally decided to enroll to a university. And so I've enrolled at Lahti University of Applied Sciences. I was a full-time student while I was also working full-time. It is actually difficult to study full-time while working full-time. I've actually asked my manager if I can have more evening shifts or night shifts so that i can attend my subjects or i can go to school during the day there were all, there were also times when um there were also times after my night shift i go straight to the school to attend my morning subjects at first it was okay at first i can do it but 2017 i've already asked my manager if i can do 80 percent working time so so that i'll be having three days off a week and so it was granted and I did that 80% working time. And so there for the whole 2017, I've been working and I've been studying and I also have started doing my practical trainings. And so spring of 2018 was my last practical training and so I had to ask my manager for a study leave and um, fortunately it was also granted. So actually my last practical training is um, in the community nursing field. I have mentioned um, before on my previous vlogs, I really liked community nursing. So during my during this last practical training as a community nurse, the my clinical instructor really liked me a lot. She really appreciated my work that she asked their manager if I can do some shifts with them and um, these shifts that I'd be doing, the hours, the, the hours would be included on my clinical training. And so it was like I was doing my clinical training and there were parts of it where, uh, where I was paid. And so after this, um, after the practical training from community nursing, the manager also appreciated my work, my effort. And so she regularly sent me messages um, if I can take some shifts from them, if I can do some um, work shifts for them. And so um, I'd be sending my work schedule, the days, that, the days and time that I can do shifts for them. 
I did part-time in the community nursing team like regularly several times a week until such time that this manager offered me a full-time working contract. So September of 2018, the community nursing um, the team manager offered me a full-time contract and so I've agreed and resigned from my previous work, the private company. So guys, in that community nursing, I am working still as a licensed practical nurse because I haven't graduated yet. Also, uh, summer of 2018, I, uh, I've already started writing my thesis and I was actually writing it alone. And um, all my practical, my clinical trainings were already done uh, that year. I am and uh, before the year ends, before 2018 ended, I was able to finish writing my thesis. And so there, I was just waiting for the graduation, but we didn't had we didn't have any graduation, so I was just waiting for my certificate or my diploma. So February 2019, I have received this certificate or this diploma that uh, says that I'm a registered nurse here in Finland. So spring of 2019, I resigned from the community nursing team and right after that, I have applied to a rehabilitation hospital. And I was immediately accepted also in that ward, but I had a bit of a problem because the workplace was not for me. I've been so stressed in that ward, the working environment is, is, is not so nice. And so just after two months, I decided to resign. So after two months being in that rehabilitation hospital, I decided to try applying um, for a summer job here in Helsinki and I applied to a short-term rehabilitation unit where I was accepted also immediately. And after my contract, because I only had um, two months contract, the manager or the chief nurse also wanted me to continue my contract in that unit but I've told her that I still live in health in I mean in Lahti and I still have my apartment in Lahti and I still don't have plans yet moving to Helsinki so I needed to go back to Lahti it was okay and so I I've applied again for a work in Lahti and I was again immediately accepted a central hospital um, and I've worked in a medical ward. I am actually so blessed and lucky that whenever I apply to a new workplace, they immediately accept me, like I immediately get the job. So yes, I don't know guys, but I feel blessed for having those workplaces where I also gained a lot of experiences. August 2019, I've started working in that medical ward of of our central hospital in Lahti. So I've worked in the central hospital from August 2019 until December 2019. Our chief nurse would actually want to to renew my contract but um, that time, December of 2019, I already have decided to finally move to Helsinki. Like totally, totally move to Helsinki. And so I had a vacation in the Philippines and then when I came back, February of 2020, I have applied to a community nursing team again because as I've told you, I really like community nursing a lot, but this time as a registered nurse. The interview was actually quite interesting because after the inter interview, the manager told me that usually when she six for employ six for nurses or employees she gives herself overnight to think about it but that time she said that um she feels like i'm a good nurse or a good employee and that i and that i'd be a good part of her team and so she immediately told me that okay you're in okay you're accepted and so that was it so February of 2020, I moved to Helsinki and I've started working as a registered nurse in a community nursing team. And then here's a very interesting part because June of 2020, the manager, the manager talked to me and she is offering me an assistant managerial position. Like what? 
<laughs> yes, but actually I was so happy hearing that from her. I didn't believe in myself. I was not confident. And I even told her that I am not confident. Like, why is she asking me when I still have my colleagues, the other nurses in our team? There were four of, no, there were four of us, but she asked me and she offered me that position. And she told me that she already talked to our area to our area manager and that area manager agreed for her to offer me the position and also she even talked to my other colleagues and everyone was like okay they everyone gave, gave a go signal i was like what but yeah i am not saying this to brag i am just saying i am just sharing this one with you guys because it's something that i'm very happy about and it's something that i am proud of and so i asked my manager can i do that do you really think that do you really believe in me that I have what it takes to become an assistant manager or so on? But yeah, she she told me that um, I can think about it and she'll give me one week to think about it. Imagine that. After one week of thinking about it, I was like, uh, okay, why not? Why not try? And so, yes, after one week, I told her that, okay, I'm accepting. I am accepting the position and so she made already the um, this official paper paper thing and this official announcement blah blah and yes yeah, so that was June 2020 and then if you guys have watched my previous vlog about me resigning from the community nursing team um, it was actually heartbreaking for me to leave the team it was actually i was actually sad resigning from that team but it felt like it was time already because it was it was already so stressful in that team there's supposed to be four registered nurses nurses holding the whole team but two of our colleagues have already become um how would i say it yanut elakkelle I'll have to check that later on and I'll, I'll, I'll put the tra translation on the screen because uh, for now I cannot remember the translation of Elakelainen. Uh, pension? Pension? <laughs> well, anyway, so four registered nurses were supposed, were supposed to be holding the whole team, but since um, two were out, there were only the two of, ha two of us holding the whole team and it was too much, too much work, too much too much everything and so I was even thinking about work even when I'm when I'm at home I felt all my stress symptoms and it was already not healthy for me uh, uh, psychologically and mentally because for almost a year there were only two of us holding the whole team because I'm like doing doing the work of two to three nurses and it lasted for almost a year so after so my stress level was already double my height so I, I finally decided um, that um, it's not healthy for me and, and that I'm going to resign and my manager was actually not the same manager who took me to the team she was accepted to a better workplace so um, our managers have changed but the manager when I resigned was understanding she said okay it was okay it is okay and then my colleagues also they they've said that uh, they understand why i wanted to resign and so yes uh june of 2021 i resigned and took a weekend day off and immediately started to another workplace which is my workplace now a vaccination center where we give um before we only gave this COVID vaccines, but now we also gave out, give other vaccines um, to people. And um, also guys, aside from that, um, I've al I have also shared with you my part-time. So I'm doing a part-time job in a private company and I've started doing part-time job in that company. I mean actively do doing part-time job in that company in April of 2021 until this time. And so if you have counted, I have a list here, so I'd like to count how many workplaces I've been to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twen
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine workplaces, guys. For my nine, almost nine years here in Finland, I've been to nine workplaces. Imagine that. So yes, actually, that's the summary of my experiences working as a nurse here in Finland. I hope you guys didn't get bored watching this vlog and um, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider on subscribing and please do like the video and um, if you have comments, questions, suggestions, please just, um, you can just comment down below. And also, I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone!